ESCOM is likely to provide a much smaller budget for diesel use in the 2024-2025 financial year. That's as it expects less reliance on the diesel-powered emergency generation fleet. But for the 2023-2024 financial year, the state-owned company says it's likely that it overspent its diesel budget, which was set at 30 billion rand. ESCOM will be able to provide the exact figure within the next couple of weeks as it finalizes its financials. Sticking with news from ESCOM, the firm should know the results of its emissions appeal soon. The utility lodged that about two years ago against a decision related to emissions from its coal-fired power stations. That decision would have resulted in the immediate shutdown of about 16 gigawatts of ESCOM's capacity. An expert panel was appointed in 2022 to advise Forestry, Fisheries and Environment Minister Barbara Creasy on the appeal. The report is being finalized and its recommendations should be presented to the minister by next Tuesday. We Buy Cars and Transaction Capital have raised over 902 million rand in capital. That's ahead of We Buy Cars listing on the JSE. When the company goes to market on Thursday, 417.2 million shares will be an issue, which at 18 rand 75 per share implies a total market capitalization of 7.8 billion rand. We Buy Cars has grown into South Africa's leading pre-owned vehicle trader with a market share of between 10 and 12 percent. It buys and sells about 13,500 vehicles per month. Investec Bank and its former legal counsel are at loggerheads over documents which the lender fears contain sensitive client information. Investec approached the Johannesburg High Court at the beginning of the year seeking to seize documents in Preeti Pillay's possession after her dismissal by the company. This is after Investec found that Pillay, who was dismissed after disciplinary hearing at the end of January, had moved a large number of its documents. She did so by emailing 199 of those from her Investec account to her private email address and printed out about 120 documents. Oanda says its 2022 financial statements have been finalized and approved by its board. The Nigerian Energy Group will now send its books to the Reporting Council of Nigeria for regulatory approval before the market can take a look. The firm's interim results for 2023 they will then be released soon after the 2022 accounts are published. Earlier this month, Oanda's shares were suspended on the JSC due to its failure to submit its earnings reports on time. And trade data is in focus in Germany as Europe's largest economy recorded downbeat exports and upbeat industrial output. Now experts say the figures are influenced by weaker domestic demand in the region and geopolitical tensions. Let's check in with our reporter Anatin Devu who is standing by with more of the detail. That's right, Ndaoleng, Germany has delivered a mixed bag of trade numbers with exports falling more than expected in February while industrial production rose for the second month in a row. This, of course, after a weak performance in 2023. Now, joining me now with more on these figures is DW correspondent Chiponda Chimbelu. Now, Chiponda, what is the latest economic data showing? Thanks for having me. Well, German exports fell more than expected in February. They were down 2% on the month. That is according to the latest figures from the Federal Statistical Office. Now, that comes after positive export data in January. But despite the, the disappointing numbers, there was a glimmer of hope from the latest slew of economic data, and that was from the industrial production figures released on Monday. Now, they show that manufacturing in Germany continued its upward trend from January. It rose 2.1 percent on the month. This year's data may point to the end of a phase of weakness, according to the economy ministry. Last year, German manufacturing slumped amid high energy prices and weak demand in other regions. And Chiponda, how are officials, business and industries reading this data? 
Well, understandably, well, first of all, the government is putting a positive spin on the latest figures. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz was positive about the latest data. And he also mentioned that inflation is slowing. Now, that is something which may very well point to a possible interest rate cut by the ECB in June. But industry and businesses are less enthusiastic about the data. The latest export figures show that Germany's trade remains under pressure, according to the president of the Federal Association of Wholesalers, Dirk Yandura. He said that what is making trade difficult for Germany is its declining competitiveness and an increase in trade barriers around the world. But exporters are looking to the U.S. market with some hope. They believe they will benefit from the upswing there if it continues. And the February numbers show that as well. While shipments to other EU countries fell, as they did to China as well, Germany's exports to the U.S. rose significantly. They increased 10.2 percent in, in, in February. And a good U.S. economy may very well hope offset declines for German exports to the EU and, of course, to China. Now, let's talk GDP forecasts, Chiponda. What can we expect from the German economy moving forward? Does the February data forecast a downward trend for the rest of the year? Well, at the end of last month, the leading German economic research institutes cut their growth forecasts for the economy significantly. They revised their GDP expectation for this year to 0.1 percent. Now, six months ago, they had been expecting the economy to grow 1.3 percent in 2024. So that is a huge difference. Leading economists point to declining exports and weak domestic demand as the main reasons behind Germany's lackluster economic performance. The data for February confirms their current expectations. And it is worth noting that the economy is also vulnerable to any major fluctuations in prices for energy and raw materials. Also, sustained weaker demand from other regions could negatively impact the German economy. We'll, of course, be watching the economy's growth throughout. Thank you so much for your time. That was DW correspondent Chiponda Chimbelo.